Okay, I'm back again, your little homework buddy. So let's do a problem together. How about we'll start first with 1 plus 5y is less than negative 4. Do you see this problem on your sheet? It's about 3 down. So first thing I want to do is solve for y. So I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. Okay, so now I have 5y is less than negative 5. Now I'm going to divide both sides by positive 5. Since I'm dividing by a positive 5, I do not switch the inequality. So y is less than negative 1. So let's go ahead and graph that. So negative 1, I'll put right here. And then I'll put a few numbers above it. And then a few numbers below it. Okay? And so all the real numbers less than negative 1. So it's an open circle, and I shade all the numbers less than negative 1. Fantastic. Now let's do the other inequality, which is 4y, ooh, like the new color, is greater than y plus 9. So again, I want to solve for y, so I'll subtract y from both sides. So now I have 3y is greater than 9. So I divide by a positive 3, so y is greater than 3. Well, it looks like I need a few more numbers on this number line. So here's 2, 3, 4, and so it's y is greater than 3. So I do an open circle, and I shade in all of the numbers greater than 3. Now let's answer the question. So the question is, if this were an and problem. Now remember, and, we look for where they overlap. Do these two graphs here overlap? Of course they don't. So then my conclusion will be no solution. Okay, now let's look at the or solution. So now I look to see where could there be a solution here. And I'm trying to switch to my little, oh, that doesn't work. Wait, maybe this. Oh, no, that didn't work. Anyways, so if you look, there's two parts that could be either or. So it could be either x, oh, my word, I got it all thick now. I'm messing it up. x is less than negative 1 or x is greater than 3. Well, I just had a student come in, but I'll be back and we'll do one more together. Okay, let's just do one more together. How about the last one on the first page? So you're given two inequalities, and we have to first solve and graph them, and then we'll look at them in respect to and and or. So the first problem, I'm going to subtract 3. So I have negative 2x less than negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. Now I'm going to divide everything by negative 2. Oh boy, what happens when you divide by a negative? Of course, you have to switch the inequality. So now we have x is greater than 2. So Wait a minute, my good friend just walked in the room. I have to stop and say hello. Okay, sorry, I, my friend just left, so now let's get back to math. So on this problem then, the next one, oh no, let's, let's graph the one I already solved, right? Of course, Miss Kleiber, what are you thinking? I don't know, I guess I got a little distracted. So I'm putting in the two and I'm putting in some numbers to the right and left of it. So it's all real numbers greater than two. So it's an open circle all numbers greater than 2. Okay, now let's solve the other inequality. It's negative x is less than or equal to 1. Well, I must divide by a negative, and when I divide by a negative, it changes the inequality, and it changes the positive 1 to a negative 1. So it's going to be all real numbers greater or equal to negative 1. So that means I need a couple more numbers here. There we go. And so now I'm going to put it, I'm going to include the negative 1, and I'm going to go Okay, and so it's all the real numbers greater than negative 1. So I'm going to include all the numbers greater than negative 1. So now we have to solve this looking in respect to and. Now remember, and means where do I see overlap? Well, I see overlap starting here at 2 and then going to infinity. Now on the overlap, does it include 2 for both graphs? No, it does not. It only includes 2 for the right graph, for the white graph. So with and, it has to include all of the numbers for all of them, both of them. So then it's going to be x is all numbers greater than 2. So that means I could pick any number. Like for example, if I did a check, I could pick the number 3. And the number 3 should make both of them true if I checked 3. So let's do that. Is 3 greater than 2? Yes, it is. Is 3 greater or equal to negative 1? Yes, it is. 
Now, what would be the solution for or? Okay, so for or, I'm going to look where is one or the other two? Or in other words, where do I see shading? Well, I see shading start here at negative one, and it's including negative one. So it's all of the numbers greater or equal to negative one. So that means any number greater or equal to negative one will make one or the other two. So like for example, if I checked negative one, because it's equal to negative one, so if I check it in the first inequality, is negative one greater than two? No, it's not. But remember, it only has to make one or the other two. Is negative one greater or equal to negative one? Yes, it is. So therefore, it made one or the other two. Now you continue and finish the rest.